Hello, I'm Benjamin B, and this is a video document of a lighting workshop that I organized with the Danish cinematographer Eric Kress. My friends at Gothenburg Film Studios asked me to organize the workshop during their yearly event, Go Kinema, with the help of our sponsors, K5600 Lighting and Transvideo. The workshop was shot with an Arri Alexa camera outfitted with a Transvideo monitor, Vantage V-Light lenses, Kino flows, and HMIs from K5600 lighting. The footage was recorded in ProRes 444. Eric Kress's lighting workshop was made possible by Gothenburg Film Studios, who provided a wonderful crew. This video was edited by my collaborator, Barbaros Goktemir. Eric began by saying that, in a way, he felt naked. This is th this is why we talked about being naked because this is this is being naked to me. Trying to solve a situation like this with two persons in a corner in a window. I mean, we haven't solved this shot yet. We just put up some lamps and hopefully we'll get there where we are satisfied with it. And it's all about modeling a face. Just to bring people up to speed. Can we tell them what lighting units are over here? We just took a 12 by 12 frame and, and bounced a, a lamp that we have on the floor to have a nice soft line coming in. Yeah. The intention is to start with one source and see if we need more than this. So this is just a soft source? So this is just a soft source. And the, the bounce, I, I think it's a 4K bounce, is that correct, uh, yeah. Luisa? No, yeah, now we have a little... It's a 4K alpha bounced off uh, the um, butterfly. What, what was your reading, if I can ask? Uh, 2.3, which is uh, almost open stop here. And now we can see that we have some practical sun that we should turn off because it gives a bit of uh, yeah. red But that, that, that might be fun, is to shoot at least one with just that one source, and then we can compare them with the others uh, Definitely. later on. Um, I should note that you're, you're rating the Alexa at 400? Uh, right now it's 400, yes. Okay. I mean, I think you can rate the camera between two and 800 without any problems. Yes. And, and even go up to 16, which where the noise starts a little bit. Yes, and Ari, the, our friends at Ari tell us that if you go below 800, you lose a little latitude, yeah. but you've noticed that you uh, lose a little noise as well. So that, yeah. that's why you like to rate it a little bit lower than the 800. Yeah. It, uh, well, from, eight, from two to 800, I haven't noticed yeah. any any loss? Problems, no. Okay, no latitude. Okay. Whatsoever. Um, do we need all these? Uh, Can we kill the Chinese lanterns? Great, thank you. Roll camera. Tuck. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's cut here. Cool. So if we want to have the light coming a little more around in her face, and at the same time having adding a little bit to the background, we could put up the, the poly outside, filling out the, the window hole a little bit more. Yeah, and now we're going to add a lamp that's bouncing into the poly. That was quite, that was a little too much. Now, I think this is too much in the background, so let's bring it down. I'd say by one, one, two stops, Luisa. Uh, because we have it? one stop more than we have in Matilda's face, which is often uh, not very good if you want to bring out the face from the background. I mean, of course, it all depends on which background you have. If it's a white wall, we would probably bring it down four stops. Since it's brown, it's, uh, it's nice, it's more controllable, we can, you know, shape it as we want. And this is really a, a, a background light, isn't it, in, in a way? Yeah, and uh, it gives a, a little bit on her light. face, not that much, actually. Yeah. But most of it is on the background. Luisa, can you tell me what the unit is that we're... It's an 800 watt uh, HMI that we're bouncing uh, into the poly. And Luisa, at the same time, panning it a little bit right. And when you're asking her to pan, what are you looking for? Well. I always like to look at the sources and not only what it does, because then I understand what things... Yeah, so you and see... I just thought that it was a bit hot on the left-hand side of it, so I wanted the light to go a little further in. Got it. So, and then you can and just when do you a do little that, like this and a little like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's one stop under. 
Now, I notice, Eric, that you're taking in incident readings a lot. Yeah, and then, you know, you can do that both with digital cameras and, and, and film cameras. You look through the viewfinder and you see, do I like this or do I don't like it? Because yeah. you can't go by a meter all the time. Exactly, yeah. You have to know your basic exposure, of course, and yeah. then you can, all the fill, uh -huh. you measure and you look, and then you go ah, a little bit less. So now we have a little bit on the background, which it, it brings out the dark side of her face. If I can be a little nerdy here, we should bring in a little flag, because I'd, I'd like the reflection behind her face in the top um, painting to be taken down a bit. The reflection goes all the way up. Yeah. I would prefer that it's cut away a little bit. Now we need to move the flag inside because it needs to be further away from the source to be able to... To yeah. cut better, okay. Yeah. So we're bringing the flag inside so that we can Burn cut the bright spot here. We're starting to, to fashion the light and it, it, uh, it's becoming intricate. It used to be very common that you do this uh, vignetting a yeah. little bit because yeah. you like to emphasize at the middle of the frame. Yeah. But I'd rather do it in, in a more in, in the lighting instead of putting a yeah. ugly uh, and, and to be honest, it's almost become like a cliche now to see vignetting in, in DI. It is. And shall we say action then? You guys know what to do. We might miss a little bit. It's the other die, and also to fill her up, it's quite harsh. So hopefully we'll try to fill up her face uh, with a little more light, uh, so it's not that harsh. Now we have quite a lot of frontal light, and now we're bringing it down, which is nice, because I still think that you should have the, the feeling that you are, that it's the light is coming from outside the window and not inside the room. Just judging by eye, I would bring it down further. Right now, it's just one tube on and then some diffused. What uh, kind of diffusion are, are, you guys, are you using? 216. Good mm. old-fashioned 216. And uh, I would like to see if we put up a net to bring it even further down. So we're just on the edge. And also, we added a quarter CTO. Yes. We added a quarter CTO because of the color balance. Just so because, because you felt that it was off, off a little bit? Yeah. This is starting to feel like a real movie now. I kind of like this. So I would say we could go for this. I would just measure where we are so we're not doing something completely stupid here. And so what are you measuring? Now I'm measuring the, the, um, uh, the key light plus fill light because that goes together, of course. Yes, and how, it much, blends how much did you get? A little bit more, 2.5. 2.5? And, and, then, and, and then, then just reading the, the, the fill light, which is all the way down to one. Which is which now readable. Yeah. yeah, which is like two and a half stop under. Yeah. And two and a half stops under is, uh, is, the, Eric, is the Eric fill. And now we have an issue with, uh, with the painting in the background. You see that it's, it's reflecting our Kino flow. Yeah. So that's why we were spraying before. And I think maybe we could do a little bit more with some dulling spray. Yeah, because I, I kind here. of like the reflection, but I don't like that I see it. Uh, so sharply. So yeah. sharp, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll yeah. try to do that. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, we will probably take in um, a little wedge. But it's true, you can spend uh, hours of fun time trying to uh -huh. make reflections uh, <laughs> work. Let's uh, shoot this version then. And cameras run. Okay, bit. and we know what to do. Because we put up the fields, she wasn't completely dark in her face when, when they are embracing each yeah. other. You could say, where does the light come from? But, I mean, it's so low that yeah. it would probably work. Now we see her light, her head a little bit. And there's still some light in it, and uh, which is maybe nice. Maybe she would look at him in a certain way, and then there is some light for yeah, her to act I on I without I compromising too much on the side light. I, I totally buy right. it. Thank you. Yeah. Now we could add some uh, sunlight. So we put up a 1,600 HMI. 
Uh, we could do two things. We could bring down the exposure of the sunlight, or we could uh, cut it off a little bit, which I think we should start with. It, it can be relatively hard to look at in, in her eyes.